Okay, hey collective. So this is gonna be a collective reading collective. I'm getting like there is somebody that like tries to isolate another person on purpose, but like this individual doesn't care. Maybe somebody doesn't even notice. So somebody is doing something on purpose. Like somebody thinks another person I don't know. Somebody thinks that another person doesn't have anybody or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. Or like maybe somebody knows that you don't really have anybody or you don't really have a, a support system. So this can even be somebody that's like a part of your family. So somebody that's a part of your family like isolates you on purpose. That's what I'm getting. Could be because, I don't know, this person could do it to get revenge. Or this person does it because somebody feels some type of way about you. Yeah, but you don't care. So maybe somebody's like, yeah, we ain't going to talk to such and such. And we ain't going to deal with such and such. And we're going to isolate such and such. And like, really, you don't care? Like, yeah, like people is conniving. Like, whoever you are, and I said this in a, a previous reading, whoever you are, like, it's important that you start networking with other people because I'm really getting, you got people around you that really don't like you or that's, like, doing underhanded stuff because who would do that to somebody? Like, somebody is isolating you on purpose, but it's, like, a form of punishment. This could be somebody that, like, has a support system, but you don't. So somebody like intentionally isolates you, but it really does not bother you is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting whoever this is. It's some type of conflict or something going on here. I don't know what's going on here. This is somebody that like maybe somebody doesn't like you and you don't even realize it. That's what I'm getting. Or somebody feels some type of way about you and you don't realize it. Um, you're always... It's like it's time for you to show up for yourself and stop trying to show up for other people. Or stop being so, you know, adamant on trying to, you know, connect with whoever this individual is. Because somebody likes when you're isolated is what I'm getting. Somebody likes when you're outcasted. Uh, you can even be considering le relocating or moving or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Like, you could be, like, if you're already going to be isolated by people, it's like you could you could be considering, like, relocating to a whole different state or a whole different town. Like, while well, I'm getting hours away or hours out. Like, you could be looking now. Like, you're looking. That's what I'm getting. You're looking now. Yeah, like, I don't know, somebody doesn't want you to, like, see your light or see your divinity or something like that. That's why somebody's treating you like this or somebody's treating you is what I'm getting. Like, it's a form of punishment or something like that. Like, when you don't, wow, okay, when you don't act a certain way or when somebody is used to the past version of you or an older version of you somebody does not know how to handle you standing in your power so whenever somebody sees you standing in your power this individual like this could be like a narcissistic family dynamic but this individual will intentionally isolate you that's what i'm getting here like these individuals you can have a group of individuals that's sitting up like talking about you or something like that so like wow it could be your own family your own family is sitting up talking about you or if you're on some type of platform or this could even be somebody looking at your social media accounts and like talking about you or something like that. So, yeah, like this could be your family. Um, Yeah, it's some type of conflict or turmoil that you're over. Like you're over it. That's what I'm getting like. I'm also getting whoever you are, you do things on your own time. I don't know. Somebody's trying to dictate your life like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this with your life. You're somebody that's very independent. Like you want to do what you want to do with your life. Whatever career field you go into, that's the career field you want to go into. I don't know. Somebody could be like legit trying to talk you out of going into a certain career field and want you to go into doing something else is what I'm getting here. Like, you're going to go into a career field that's going to be very lucrative for you and it's going to be something that you enjoy. But, like, I don't know. Somebody's like, you need to do this. And you're like, no, I'm good. This is what I want to do. Like, you're not, nobody's about to, this is your life. This is your life. You have your own, like, 
whoever you are, you, you pretty much just stay to yourself. It's like you're not asking this person for nothing. You mind your business. Somebody is like eagle eye, like all over you, like hawk eye, just like watching. Man, look. But isolates you. So somebody isolates you and then they sit and watch you. They sit and watch you like, ooh, I know that she, you know, feeling lonely or feeling alone. Or I know he feeling lonely or he feeling like somebody isolates you, then watches you. Is what I'm getting. Like people are weird. People are weird. And this is like your own family. Like somebody has something. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not even going to get to it. I'm not even going to no. know. Okay. But then like maybe somebody. This is too many. But somebody could also want to rush in. Or somebody's upset. There could be a third party that's being manipulative. And doing something here as well. To like. Okay. So there's a king of swords involved in the situation. This king of swords could have been involved in encouraging somebody to like isolate you. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, you could be this king of pentacles. Somebody's doing this to a king of pentacles. Wow. Yep. It's like some type of secret competition going on here is what I'm getting. And somebody is like working to isolate you and wants to like upset you and you like being alone. <laughs> you like being alone. Somebody is like, if you're on a platform, whoever these individuals are, these family members, they're watching you as well is what I'm getting. Yeah, you could be somebody that's very inspirational, very motivational here as well. Yeah, you got a masculine energy in your family that's watching you and I could be speaking to a masculine energy. It's like somebody isolates you on punishment, on punishment. <laughs> I was about to say on purpose. Somebody isolates you on purpose as a form of punishment until you can form or until like you got somebody around you that likes to be like the, oh, well, I'm getting a big dog or the boss and this person will try and this person is not no big dog or no boss or not no boss of you period but whoever this individual is it's like this person does this and somebody's used to you i don't know you can't even talk about your accomplishments because like your accomplishments are belittled or somebody just like you're over it you're so over it. <laughs> somebody thinks that like you're never going to do anything with your life as well. So somebody's isolating you on purpose. Uh, watching you does not support you. If you got a business, this person's watching your business but does not support your business and would not tell you that they're watching you or anything like that. This person could even be like leaving negative reviews or something like that or just watching your business, hoping that it fails, hoping that it collapses here is what I'm getting. And this person is like... Somebody's manipulative is what I'm getting here. Yeah, like, but you're going to go on to move forward and be successful in life. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Like, I'm getting once you start networking. So you're about, about to start networking. Here is what I'm getting. It'd be the people closest to you. It'd be the people closest to you. Yeah. You reverse that tower. This is a family situation. Like your family, you got a family unit that's like trying to isolate you or something. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. You got a family unit that's trying to isolate you or something here. Yeah, king of wands. So it's a bunch of masculine energies involved in a situation. You got this king of pentacles. You got this king of swords in the reverse. And you got this king of wands upright. I don't know. Okay, this person is somebody sees what's happening to you. So there's another person that sees what's happening to you. This could be a family member of yours that sees what's happening to you, that sees that like all of your accomplishments are always belittled because like somebody tried, somebody tried to belittle you in front of another person and it immediately pissed. This is the type of person that like sees stuff and doesn't say anything, but just like, you know, like it's keeping a mental note. 
and you got somebody that like tried to belittle your accomplishments around this king of wands here and this king of wands is like no uh uh that ain't happening this person whoever this individual is could be like mocking you like oh you ain't gonna never do nothing with your life you ain't gonna never go nowhere you ain't gonna never be this you ain't gonna never do that you ain't gonna finish school you ain't gonna graduate whatever and this king of wands is like no like somebody this king of wands is coming into your defense is what i'm getting here It's like a lot of masculine energies here. Give me just a second. I just said it's a lot of masculine energies. We got the king of cups here fell on the floor. We got the nine of pentacles in reverse. I don't know. This person, somebody is hoping that you are in this nine of pentacles. So somebody could even be doing something to try to have you in the nine of pentacles. And there is a king of wands here that knows like this individual knows that somebody is doing something to have you in the nine of pentacles in reverse is what I'm getting. Doing something to your money is what I'm getting here. Yeah. And then trolling you like, yeah, do you got money? You ain't got no money. You ain't got, you ain't got this. You ain't got like somebody is legit kind of like mocking you. Somebody worked to get you fired and this person is happy that like, ce or celebrating like somebody feels like you don't have any money. That's what I'm getting like. There is somebody else that's turned off by this. There's a masculine energy that's turned off by somebody doing something to you is what I'm getting. Like somebody is doing something to your money and then trolling you or mocking you and intentionally isolated you within a family unit here as well. That's what I'm getting. Um, what? This person doesn't want people to be attracted to you. You know what? Okay, so this really irritates me. Whoever this individual is, male or female, that's a part of your family. You're going to go on to move away and start networking with people that's like, I'm getting like-minded, like-minded people. Yeah. Uh, you may also get a job at a very, like, you're going to be very successful in life. And this is like, somebody's watching you right now. So right now you could be at the page of pinnacles. Somebody's watching you right now and thinks that you're never going to do anything with your life. You're going to go on to be like very successful, be very abundant here, six figures a year or more. That's what I'm getting. Like, you're going to be happy. You're going to go on to meet somebody that's going to love you and appreciate you as well. So, like, don't allow whatever this is to block you or have you up in your head. If you're struggling now, if you're going through financial issues now, that's all going to turn around for you. It's about your outlook and your mindset. You're moving forward. You're getting yourself in alignment with what is meant for you. That's what I'm getting. Not what somebody else wants you to do in regards to your career. You're getting yourself in alignment with what is meant for you. Something that you are skilled at doing here but this king of swords energy male or female family member this could be somebody that like feels like they got everything figured out in regards to their life their career their money but somebody could also be like living outside their means but this individual is like trying to tell you like oh you need to uh you know i don't know this is like weird this is weird give me just a second yeah we had the devil fall on the floor here uh yeah I'm really getting like, you're just moving on with your life. You don't care who has what to say about you. You don't care who feels like you should be going into what career field you're moving forward. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody thinks that, I don't know, this is a family member of yours that's like controlling. Somebody thinks that you're never going to be successful in life. Like, why is this person worried about you? Especially if this individual is isolating you on, on purpose, intentionally. Why is this person watching you? Why is this person worried about what you're going to do in your life? Maybe because you're going to be successful in life and somebody doesn't want you making more money than them. That's what this is. Somebody is used to you being at the bottom. This is somebody that's like feels superior or something like that to you. Wow, somebody wants you to feel like you're a failure. 
this person comes around you and it, it like this person never bigs up your accomplishments. Like if you're currently, you know, like in school or getting your education, this person never bigs up your accomplishments. This person just like tries to make you feel like you're a failure or something like that. Like this person doesn't care. This person will try to make you feel like you're a failure. Like, oh, that's nothing. You're a failure. Oh, you should do this with your life and go into this field. No. Yeah, you're a failure. This person's watching you, though. This person's watching you. Like, somebody somebody is also watching your business or watching something that you're building here and, like, uh, hoping that that fails as well. Somebody wants you to be a failure. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody is doing something to you behind the scenes here as well to, like, try to... Why I'm getting like intervene in the spiritual inheritance that you're receiving. So yeah, somebody's doing something to you. Yeah, some this person's gonna regret doing that. This person's gonna regret doing that. This person's gonna regret trying to make you feel like you were, were a failure or you are a failure or like you have no options. You have no abundance coming in for you. You have no way to go. You know, have like, I'm telling you. Like you're going to move forward with your life. You're going to be very successful. You're going to be very happy. And I'm getting this once you start networking. You're also going to meet somebody here as well that matches your energy here as well. That's what I'm getting. Like you're about to be very happy or very blessed or very abundant. I'm also getting some in regards to like, I, <laughs> I ain't even got my glasses on. That's a habit of. That's a stem, but, um, I'm also getting like some in regards to like computers or a computer lab or, um, you may go on to, yeah, you may go on to teach at a very like prestigious college or you're going to be, yeah, computers or computer labs is significant here. Your journey is your journey. Your journey is your journey. How long it takes you to get there is however long it takes you to get there. Your journey. This is not a race. It's not a race. I don't know. Maybe somebody's like, oh, wow. Somebody's like trying to flaunt. Like, I see exactly what's going on here. So somebody's trying to flaunt their success in your face and telling you that like, oh, but you could be somebody like maybe you're in school. Maybe you're going to get like, wow, okay. Okay. I'm getting, you may be graduating soon. You may be graduating soon or something like that. Like somebody feels like you're not going to do anything with your life. And this person is like trying to flaunt their achievements. Like I did this and I did that in life. And this is what I did. And this is what like, and you're just like, yo, you're going to get there when you get there. You're going to make it like this is everybody's journey is different. Everybody's journey is different, but this person is like, somebody's really doing this to try to make you feel like you are not enough. And whoever you are, like somebody, you keep yourself to yourself. You keep what you're doing to yourself. Somebody also thought like you weren't educated. Um, I don't know. It's like somebody doesn't want you to be... You have a lot of happiness and abundance and blessings coming in for you. You need to claim that. Claim it because it's already yours. It's already there. It's already yours. Just like this career. It's already there. It's already yours. Period. So somebody waiting like somebody is whoever you are. You know you're trusting the process. You know what's meant for you. You ain't got to rush. You ain't got to rush. Nothing is rushed. Nothing of the divine is rushed. The divine does not rush. God does not rush. Why are you rushing? I don't know if this person trying to make you feel like you got to uh, catch up or keep up or man, look, you focus on you. What you do is focus on you. Focus on what you're doing, not what the person next to you is doing. Focus on what you're doing, where you want to go in life, what you want to achieve in life. Because your goals, your dreams, your aspirations are not the same as somebody that's trying to like, I don't know, this person like trying to belittle you or something like that here. Like, why are you watching somebody that's minding their business? That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody's watching you and... 
I'm about to end this. Where are we at? Yeah, I'm about to end this. Um, yeah, slow and slow and steady. Slow and steady. <laughs> Stutter. Slow and steady. It ain't no race. Who you racing? Nobody. Where are you going? Where you gotta be? <laughs> why why you gotta rush? You know what? Do it because do it for you. But also, do it because somebody's telling you you can't. Because somebody could be like, oh, or could be gossiping to like fa a family. Like your family is gossiping about you behind your back. Like, oh, you ain't going to never graduate or she or he ain't going to never graduate. Just sitting watching you. Like isolating you and watching you and like, oh, he or she ain't going to never graduate. It don't even matter. Like it don't even matter. Like somebody does not want you to have money, abundance, blessings, happiness like somebody's like oh they ain't gonna graduate it don't even matter like don't call no you don't well it don't matter if this person somebody don't like you and so what don't allow this person to get up in your head don't you dare you keep going you keep pushing i don't care you get tired you get anxious you get stressed out nervous worried about that you know whatever you got to do in class that assignment like just be patient with yourself when you start overthinking because you think that you got to reach a certain destination because you got to compete with somebody it ain't no competition it ain't no competition when you know that you don't have any competition like just be patient like when you start rushing and getting nervous and anxious like no you ain't gotta man look do it for you, but like I said, do it because somebody told you you couldn't. Let your action speak for itself. Wow, you know what I'm getting. This could be somebody that's like trying to figure out like somebody don't know you, but somebody is just like, I don't know. It's like you keep stuff to yourself, you keep stuff private, and somebody's trying to figure out like, if you're going places in life and you are, but you keep stuff private. So like you randomly pop out doing things and somebody just thinks that they got it. Like, I don't know. Somebody got to set in their head, like knowing that you ain't going to do nothing with your life. <laughs> you ain't got to prove nothing to this damn person. Let this person be your secret hater. Like let this person be your secret hater. And secretly your motivator. Let your haters be your motivators. Like, I'm telling you, you got to keep pushing forward. This is weird. People are weird. I'm ending this. Yeah, you ain't no damn fool. Somebody thought you was weak. Somebody thought you was a fool. You was weak. You weren't going to never do nothing with your life, man. Look, be the people closest to you. Be the people closest to you. Then wonder why you don't want to go nowhere. Wonder why you don't want to uh, go to any family functions. Wonder why you a hermit. Wonder why you every time you around your family, you can't wait to get the hell away from them. Oh, you so anti-social? No. Ain't nothing anti-social about it. Yeah, we have embraced change. Every stage of your journey, every every step, and if, if you fall down, you get back up. Period. Don't become a victim of your circumstances and you keep pushing forward. Make a decision. It's time for you to make a decision. Also, you need to make a decision about making a change in regards to the people that you have around you. Because you need people that inspire you around you. Not people that's waiting on you to fail. Then make the people that you need around you. In your corner. Waiting on you to fail. Oh, I knew he wasn't going to graduate. I knew she wasn't going to graduate. I knew she wasn't going to go through with it. I knew she was going to stop doing it. No, you need people around you that's telling you to keep going. Don't you dare give up on yourself. Period. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what you're dealing with. Sometimes we can let what people think about us and people not liking us and feeling some type of way about us cloud how like powerful we really and truly are. And you are extremely powerful. Like you're somebody that's independent. You're not codependent. 
You get out here and you get in, you do it on your own and you do it in silence and you don't need nobody. You don't need nobody around you. That's what I'm getting. Like, you don't need nobody around you. Like, man, look, you get out here and you do it on your own, period. Yeah, let the money flow in. Didn't I just say? When you decide to embrace whatever change this is, you're going to move forward and become very like, you're going to be very happy in life. Yeah, feed your creativity here. Um, it's some type of change that you are experiencing. Embrace it. Because that's going to get you in alignment with a new opportunity or a better opportunity for you to advance in life. Yes. And you will not have to ask anybody for nothing. Like in life, you aren't going to have to ask anybody for anything. You're going to be able to be comfortable. And I don't care if this is that you could be graduating at the age of 40, 45, 50. I don't care. Like somebody is trying to make it seem like, oh, like you ain't going to do nothing with your life. Man, I'm telling you, when you do go into whatever career field this is, like one year's salary of yours is going to set you up to be able to like, wow, I'm getting live comfortable. You're going to have a comfortable retirement. Like somebody, I don't know who this is that's like judging you or waiting on you to fail. Somebody is like watching you and sending that energy towards you. Watching your business, waiting on your businesses to fail. Spell work. Watching you, waiting on you to fail. Spell work. Watching you, waiting on you to, you know, wow, okay, not succeed. Somebody doesn't want you to succeed. You stay, you stay at it. Stay at it. Keep doing it. Keep going. Keep moving forward. L don't pay attention to what people got to say about you. That's what I'm getting here. Like, that could be why you keep stuff private into yourself. Like, maybe somebody's just been on not, not liking you or something like that. But I'm going to end it there. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.